So this morning, we're eating Burger King and we're vlogging with Stephanie. That's right. Stephanie's actually going to be sending the Bafang to uh, North Carolina, shipping it out today and reinstall it so that I, my little chicken legs will be uh, a little bit quicker on the hills and everything else. Yeah, well, good morning guys. How are you? Good to see you. JD here. That's right. We are riding for the Child Hospital Kids with Cancer and Illnesses at Dartmouth Hitchcock. We are in Virginia and we are heading down to North Carolina. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm excited. And we are in traffic. If you guys get a chance, please subscribe to the channel. Also, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and as always, stay happy, stay humble, and I will see you guys later. Day 90, oh, vlog 91, day 23, let's go. All right, so uh, one thing I'm learning here is, uh, in Virginia, is that you want to be very careful when you're driving. I thought Mass, New York, all those places were bad. No, they'll move out the way. They do it fast, but here in Virginia, they don't care, and they will run you over. It doesn't matter if you have the American flag or whatever flag that is. They will run you over and they will beep at you and they will scream and be mad. So you just be careful when you're driving through Virginia because they just don't care. It might be the other states too. I don't know. I used to live in North Carolina and I know that the uh, a little less traffic in some spots. But uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Driver's Ed is uh, a little bit different down here, I guess. So my friends here stopped and we were just talking about the bike and explaining the bike and uh, you guys work at where? VC Dental. Dental. VC Dental. They're going to dental school right now and uh, they were checking out the bike. So super cool and uh, we're going to take a photo now. But uh, yeah, so if you guys get a chance to check these guys out in the future, they're going to be yanking your teeth out. You guys saw it from the vlog. So cool. Very cool. suspension bridge that goes all the way across. the skills area bike park this is sick what no way RC cars are prohibited that's so cool let's see if we can do a couple of these Woo, yeah we can oh <laughs> Yo, 
so we literally just came across and we almost literally ate it we we're going down that hill and uh what up guys so now yo what up so we're going uh these guys are having lunch yeah what up Lunch today is at a place that I haven't had in a long time since I lived in North Carolina. And I'm super excited to announce that we are going to Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Love Waffle House. If you don't know, if you ain't ever been to Waffle House, you are missing out. Y'all need to go to Waffle House. Waffle House. <laughs> All right, so basically what we got going on is we have a flat right now. Fender off first. Because the fender needs to come off. Take the fender off. So to make it easier to actually get to the tire. Basically you gotta take the uh these are nice because on the front you can just take the tube and you can take it out and uh, you just have to basically you don't take the whole tire up and take it a little bit off and then you're uh, and then you can actually take it the rest of the way out so these are a little bit easier the back you would have to take the whole tire off but right here we can just deal with it turn on its side and it, it works a little easier also I always want to check and see where the uh, where the hole actually is so if it's just like a quick puncture hole or whatever it may be, I can Looks like maybe we just we got lucky. Well, let's lose an air somewhere. Then what you want to do is you want to actually blow it up just a little bit so that you can form it around the tire. All right, now we are back. We're going to go over to the gas station next door, though, the auto parts right there, the tire place, and we're going to get um, some air in the tire. So that that way we can get the right pressure uh, put in. So. All right, so all right, so we got the tube in, we got the tire uh, pumped. Now I got to get to the. Uh, we're going to Goodyear. We're going to have them blow up the actual tire to the uh, proper uh, weight or PSI that's supposed to be in there. Some valves some valves as well uh, so that we can basically keep going that yeah, Molly's Molly's bike shop how are we doing what's up guys um, good good I'm looking to get a uh, if you guys have them I have the uh, the Presta valves and like and every other bike is making the two I got a flat tire but I put just enough in a few oh, miles back, and I just need to put air in it, but I want to see if you guys have adapters too. Yeah, I could okay. buy it. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, he's a puppy. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, the bum bum bum. Oh, you. Yeah. Hi. For the, um, this is Molly. White color. Uh, but one of the. Um... All right, so I just came out here. We got uh, Molly's uh, bike shop, and uh, they just helped me out with uh, the. They actually just fixed the toe on this was off a little bit and uh, also gave me a rag and they gave me some spare tires too so we got some tires new tire not new but they're, they're used but they're better if you could tell like this tire is not wearing as much as this one so uh yeah so we should be good to go i got some tires and then i also got some adapters too and we got some new brake pads so that way when they start to go we can change them out so a huge thank you to uh molly's uh bike shop 
for uh, helping me out there. They're just before, they're about 10 miles before Petersburg here in Virginia. So Molly's Bike Shop, look them up. And uh, if you need anything on the way, definitely check them out because they will help you out. And uh, sat down as you guys saw, and he did my bite and my toe in and helped me out. So very uh, thankful for that. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate it and uh, rock and roll. We just got kind of turned around and uh, took it right in the street, but the GPS was showing that it wasn't, uh, that it was there, but it was somebody's driveway. And then on the other side, oh, look at this guy. Hi, buddy. And then on the other side, it was actually, I got, we had to figure out a way to get around it. Doug called me. And we got around it and what it was was it was blocked off uh, on the other side there was a trailer park built so the trailer park in the middle of the woods it was just woods now it cut off so you couldn't get through it so i had to go around so that is why it didn't show up when i was there Okay guys, that's all we have for today. That is day 23 in the books. We did 48 point something miles today and we made it to Petersburg, Virginia. That's right, we're getting so close yet so far, but we're making it happen. One pedal at a time, one day at a time. We are here at the Holiday Inn Express. I haven't even called to see if they have a room yet. We're gonna find out, I hope they do. Anyway, please go to positivevibesword.com, make a donation. If not, share, 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 share. Please, guys, we need to share. We got to get to that $10,000 marker. This is for the kids with cancer and illnesses. I don't know if I can stress that enough. This is not just a do it to do it kind of thing. This is a thing that we're doing so that we can help people. I'm sharing these videos so that we can help kids that are dealing with something much bigger than the rest of us. So please donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can afford, and let's make this happen, guys. I'm going to keep pedaling. I need you guys to help in that aspect. Share it if you can't donate. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. As always, stay happy, stay humble. Love you. Vlog 91 in the books. See you later.